All right, I promise we're almost done with these comparisons. Uh, okay, maybe I can't promise that. But here's another one where we kind of see the result, having had previous experience with it. Um, so the statement reads, at the interface between one linear magnetic material and another, the magnetic field lines bend. So show that we have tangent theta 2 over tangent theta 1 equal mu 2 divided by mu 1, assuming there is no free current at the boundary. And that would clearly scramble up the magnetic field. All right, so when in doubt, draw it out. So we have a line of action here, the dotted line. And then horizontally, we have the boundary of two magnetic materials with mu1 and mu2. So we have b1, the field entering at theta1, and that gets bent to b2 exiting at theta2. All right. Again, we've seen this before, so let's take into account our boundary conditions. So at the, interfer at the interface, the perpendicular component of b is continuous, which is stated by the boundary conditions, and the parallel component of h is continuous. Given that the free or surface bound current or the, or, let me rewind, the surface or the free bound current on the surface is zero, which is one of the uh, assumptions to start. So if we say this, then we write B perpendicular is equal to B2 perpendicular and H parallel is equal to H parallel, H1, H2. Okay, but we know that the, um, Magnetic field is related to H via mu H, so the parallel components are 1 over mu 1, B1 parallel, equals 1 over mu 2, B2 parallel. Alright, why does this matter? Well, now we're dealing with tangent, which is physically described as equals B1 parallel divided by B1 uh, perpendicular, or opposite over adjacent via where the angle is. That's just a physical description of theta, so... Don't run away with it, that's just how it is. Just go back to the definitions that we learned in trig. So if we want the ratio here, then we need to take tangent of theta two and divide it by tangent of theta one, <clears throat> and we get the division of fractions, which of course, if I divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by the reciprocal, which is what we see here. But since our boundary condition stated that we were continuous at the perpendicular, this means that B1 perpendicular equals B2 perpendicular. We can cancel the B2 and B1 perpendicular components. Um, and then if we need to here, uh, what we see is that the parallel components of B1 and B2 are equal. So if we solve uh, the B2 parallel in terms of B1 parallel, they cancel too. But they, only, they do that with a factor of mu2 over mu1 left over. And that's where we find a ratio. Quick, easy, painless, but just remember the boundary conditions.